Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm Priscilla. I'm the owner of A Life Full Simplicity. Today is another Cozy Tarot Sunday for June 14th to the 20th. If you're new, as always, I'll be using the Tarot for Self-Care by Minerva Siegel. And this is the reading that I will be doing. So it will be the focus for the week. What's needed to embrace the focus? what's needed to let go of, and of course, self-care for the week because self-care is very important. So let's get shuffling the cards and see what the week has in store for us. And as always, please just take what resonates with you. Not everything will resonate and that's okay. So in the first position, we have the Page of Wands for the focus of the week. So looking at the Page of Wands, you know, it makes me think of last week's reading, which was all about focusing on, you know, your self-confidence in order to eventually tackle something new. And it seems from this card that your self-confidence is back. You know, you're confident again. You're great, you know. There's excitement in your life and you're ready, ready to tackle new things, whatever it was that you set aside. So from this, I believe that the focus of the week is to place your energy and your excitement and that confidence that you've reg regained uh, into whatever it was that you set aside last week. So I think that's what you want to do, what you want to focus on. This is a week to focus on that project, that, that new thing, whatever it was that got you down last week, you got it. You got, you're, you're good and you can tackle it this week. There's, there's confidence there. There's excitement there. You know, it's like you got your groove back is pretty much what's that, what that's saying. Next, for what to embrace in terms of the focus, we have the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups is literally all about new beginnings. Literally all about new beginnings. So you want to embrace your intuition that this week is a new start. You know, it's a new beginning. And that you have the motivation, you have the confidence, and then you have the creativity to go forward with this new project the new thing that you want to start, that thing that you set aside last week that got you down, because this week you're able to focus on it, you know. Last week you were struggling, you were struggling, that confidence wasn't there, you know. Last week you were asked to set aside that thing and focus on things that actually play to your strengths, that boosted your confidence, you're confident again, you're excited, and you're going to take up that thing, you're going to take up that thing that you set aside and you're going to go for it. You know, new beginning is a new start because it's a new week. And you have that boss energy. You can do it. You can tackle it. That's pretty much what these two cards are saying. And then for the third position of what to let go, we have the seven of pentacles. So again, you want to let go of putting pressure on yourself. You know, you want to take your time. You want to have patience with yourself because that's how you'll be able to succeed in the long run. You know, when you put too much pressure on yourself, you f you tend not to finish. Like you put too much pressure on yourself to finish something. You tend not to finish it. You tend not to have that motivation to finish it. The creative, the creative sparks end up, you know, diminishing and then you don't have that creativity anymore. So you want to stay away from that. You know, you want to let go of that because that's how it was last week. You know, last week, last week was putting you down. This week, it's all about letting go of the pressure. Just take your time. You know, don't put too many deadlines on yourself. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. Have patience with yourself because in the long run, when you take time, 
to learn something new. You take time to tackle something that, you know, doesn't play to your strength. It's not a strength of yours. You know, you're, you're just learning. It takes time. It takes time and it takes as much time as needed. So start it. Take your time with it. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. Go with the flow because you'll be able to get better at whatever it is you're trying to do or accomplish with time and with patience. And when you don't have that and you put too much pressure on yourself, you end up having a week like last week where you're struggling and you're like, I'm not confident in myself. There's too much pressure. There's too many, you know, thinking that you're a failure and whatnot. And you want, you want to stay away from that. You want to let go of all of that to be able to focus on these two cards, this excitement, you know, this, this new beginning is this new start. You know, it's a new week. You have confidence, you have excitement, you have motivation, you're ready. So stay away from this is what I mean, because with time and with patience, you'll get those rewards. You'll uh, get those accomplishments. So focus on these two to, and leave this behind. And in the last position for self-care for the week, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Now, as always, I'll be reading from the Tarot for Self-Care by Minerva Siegel. It is in terms of mind, body, and spirit. As always, take what resonates with you in terms of the self-care and make sure that you're following COVID regulations uh, where you're living. So in terms of mind, this is a great time to budget your finances, exercise impulse restraint, and rein in your spending impulses now. In terms of body, focus on nourishment. No matter how busy your days get, make sure to eat three healthy meals each day. In terms of spirit, nature community and your endeavors by, uh, sorry, nurture community and your endeavors by collaborating on a fulfilling project with a creative friend or coworker. See, talking about projects, you don't necessarily need to collaborate, but it's talking about projects, these two cards right here. So the sign, it's a sign. So that was the cozy tarot Sunday reading for June 14th to June 20th. Again, always take what resonates with you. Let me know in the comments what resonated, what didn't. Love to hear from you. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Turn on that bell so you can be notified every time I post a new reading or video. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as it's greatly appreciated. And I hope you have a great week.